Good day and uh, welcome to our webcast, Application Security Management. Today we talk about how to efficiently identify and remediate critical vulnerabilities in SAP and other business applications. On the agenda, at first we talk about the need to measure the effectiveness of your application security management. And as a second point with ThreadFix, you get a unified platform to manage risk in your business applications. The subsequent de demo case uh, following shows you how you can scan your SAP and other business applications for critical vulnerabilities and how you can track the remediation of vulner vulnerabilities with ThreadFix. Last but not least, we'll do a Q&A session um, at the end of this webinar uh, for asking all of your questions. So at first, the need to measure the effectiveness of your application security management. How does this arise? So some facts on the state of application security from findings virtual forge made with its uh, SAP ABAP code benchmark as well as uh, Checkmark's research. The analysis of uh, some hundred customer uh, systems showed there is a critical security compliance problem in every thousand lines of code. Typical system has about 200, 2,000 critical security issues in its custom code. And even on an average, 10, 10 vulnerabilities are found per system, which are so grave that a single one can compromise the entire system. And subsequently, an attacker can gain full uh, access to all corporate data. So the need to measure the effectiveness of your application security management derives um, out of such cases. And uh, the traditional tactics uh, of application security management often fail because enterprises have hundreds of applications in their portfolios and many have written, updated, and patched over the past 10 to 20 years. So limited resources here um, take to the question of which application should one secure first. Also, the, the, such a lot of security tools for different purposes uh, um, bears some problems deriving from may I do dust or dust. You have defect trackers, you have firewalls in the companies, and all those security suites have different reporting mechanisms. So organizations need a central application security management. And uh, with Redfix, you have a unified platform to manage risks in your business applications. So check marks in Virtual Forge provide customers with this feasible solution. And uh, ThreadFix is itself is uh, developed by experienced security pre uh, practitioners uh, from US, the Denim Group. And ThreadFix combines reports from different code scanners. Um, you have a common weakness enumeration, the CVE ratings, which are pretty new to the SAP area, but very, very common in the rest of the IT and the uh, programming languages. Redfix furthermore provides a landscape-wide overview and uh, they are with easy control and monitoring of effort, timelines, and achievements, of course. And it has a free community version which you can download with no cost from their homepage, which combines perfectly with uh, our products. So uh, the next is a showcase about the integration of uh, Code Profiler and uh, CX Suite into ThreadFix. And uh, we technically show you how to control, monitor, and manage your findings from this common platform. At this point, I want to take over the screen to Arndt from Virtual Forge and Rali from Checkmarks in order they fire up their presentation in a technical way. Just a moment. Uh, with check marks. Thank you, Tim. I'm a solution. Uh, this is Rally Kitani. I'm a solution engineer with check marks. And today I'm going to show you how to integrate um, 
um, how checkmarks works and then specifically how checkmarks integrate with Threadfix. So here um, I have checkmarks installed on my computer and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, a new project. So let's call it uh, webinar um, project and then um, I can just click on next here. It shows me different ways of choosing the uh, source of the scan. So I can just do um, a local zip file, for example. And um, so let's do this, for example, and then we can move. And then here, I, this is where I choose the scheduling. And then finally, I can choose a pre-scan, post-scan email. And this is where I choose the connection to um, a thread fix. This is where I choose the uh, push to thread fix um, 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 case. And then finally, I would click on finish. Now, what this is going to start doing is going to wait uh, uh, to be put in the queue. And then it's going to start scanning. When it finishes scanning, it's going to send the project to thread fix. Meanwhile, I want to show you um, quick things about reporting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, a quick report, and, um, and then from there we will go and see the uh, the, the project on Threadfix. So as soon as you um, uh, see the vulnerability and so forth, you can see how um, uh, it is highlighted in the in the code. Also, how the vulnerability is flowing within the code on the right hand side, and then finally there is a quick graph view regarding the vulnerability and how this specific vulnerability is, um, uh, these cases are interconnected. Now, let's move on to um, the um, uh, ThreadFix and see how that specific project was launched. So I'm going to click on, on ThreadFix here and specifically the WebGoat project, that's the one that I just scanned. And then as you can see here, I have a dashboard of uh, different vulnerabilities, uh, for example, the vulnerability trending, the top 10 vulnerabilities, and so forth. And there is also um, another uh, detailed uh, uh, report for the um, uh, for these vulnerabilities with their threat fix. And um, I can I have a choice I have a choice to to close these vulnerabilities or even mark them as false positive. I can preview different scans for that specific project and so forth. Um, so that's, uh, that's basically how easy it is to integrate from check marks to thread fix using literally three or four different clicks. And from now, I'm going to uh, hand over my presentation to um, Arndt. Hi, this is Arndt Linkstad from Virtual Forge here in uh, Heidelberg. A warm welcome from my side as well. I'm the product manager here and responsible for one of the products from us, uh, that uh, co-profiler. I'm already logged on to my uh, SAP uh, development environment. Uh, SAP development environment uh, happens a little bit different as in, in the usual world. Uh, there you have all the development environment directly within your whole, uh, within your whole business suite. Uh, I have co-profiler installed within this business suite of SAP. And uh, Code Profiler actually is there then to pinpoint and automatically correct security compliance performance vulnerabilities in other programs before downtime and long over, uh, over long run times causes expensive corrections or security vulnerabilities are just simply exploited by attackers. So um, what do I have in here uh, is the full Code Profiler installation. Uh, and we just simply go to the uh, Virtual Forge uh, uh, extractor where I can uh, select a package or a full a software uh, component from the SAP system. So I can uh, have different selections here from uh, software components or development packages in SAP. So I just simply select the demo package from here and then I can download this to my client. This download uh, is going to be scanned directly and the uh, files are being transferred into uh, a thread fix as we, similar, similar to the way we've just seen it uh, in the, in the checkmarks solution. Uh, nevertheless, usually um, the developer in SAP uh, works continuously with inside of his development environment where he can just simply uh, see the 
um, vulnerabilities that have been created in the reports directly. So we can trigger the, um, the download here directly and then we can see the results later on within the uh, Redfix integration. So you just simply download the, uh, the files and that's already finished here. So we can have a very quick look at the development integration of uh, Profiler into the SAP world. So we have uh, the development workbench here in SAP. Oh, that's my, oops, oh, that's not my package. Uh, that sounds better. Uh, and from here, a developer can always have a look at, a, at his package. He can have a look at all the programs he is developing. That's the code from the program. And he can always have a scan directly inside uh, in the SAP system uh, when going to check the program with Coprofiler. Um, it is not possible here, as you've seen it in the checkmark solution, to run the scan process directly uh, while uh, programming the scan. We can do this only in our Eclipse for ABAP integration. That's where we can do it. Within ABAP, we see the, uh, the finding manager here, and here we can see the whole, the whole list of every single finding that we had inside of our package. Okay. Um, here we can see then as well all important information to every single issue that we found inside of uh, the coding we just simply scanned. Uh, okay, so um, from here we can go back to the uh, Redfix integration. Just hold on a second. So what we've seen here, or what we can see here, is uh, the scan results already uploaded from some logistics applications in SAP, some financial applications, some accounting, and there you can see already the uh, vulnerability trending, as you've seen before within uh, uh, the demonstration of Rally. So you can see here the single uh, applications and the critical issues in here. And then we can jump to the area of analytics, and this is uh, quite uh, new for all the uh, SAP participants. Uh, here we can get all the results in, uh, in a listed way, and within the view more settings, we can now here compare the um, SAP issue that we found with the standard CVE rating. So we have a missing authorization check here found within our SAP program. And with just a simple click on, on this uh, link here, we can go to the homepage of the common weakness enumeration and we can see what is the exact description of this um, uh, vulnerability of missing authorization check. So this is not known in SAP at all until we have created this integration here. Uh, here we get some more details about the findings and the full description that has been being delivered as well from Coprofiler into uh, this integration. So here you can see all the uh, mitigation descriptions that are delivered here as well from us. Okay, that will be it for my slide and uh, then I can pass back to, uh, Thing, uh, to Tim, I think. Now the question is, how does it combine? How, how you can see both of the reports in Threadfix and then get something for steering the vulnerabilities and the security of the company? Yes, Tim, that's a very good question from you. Uh, I've already prepared that and uh, so I've uploaded uh, the scan from, from, from Raleigh from earlier on and the new scan and the new scan we triggered earlier on in the SAP system to combine it in the dashboarding of Brexit. So 
So what you can see here in team is now the web goat application uh, which we uh, extracted from our both systems with the coding from checkmarks and with the coding from the virtual forge co-profiler. So here on the right hand side you can see then the pie chart with all the findings in there and when just simply clicking on one of these pies you get the vulnerability summary of all the uh, critical issues that were found in the web code application combination of the findings of the Java findings from checkmarks and the other findings of virtual Forge code profiler. You can also see the exact details of this and have a, a drill into the single findings here as well. Okay, just step back uh, to the web code application again. Uh, if you just then from here go into the team view of the uh, analysis, you get the check marks information here, you get the code profiler information here, and then you can as well see all the 157 combined vulnerabilities in within one view. And there you can then as well, for example, see the SQL injections here, somewhere found by uh, the checkmarks application within the Java coding, and somewhere found by the code profiler application um, within the uh, ABAP uh, coding from the SAP system. Uh, from here then you can have uh, different filters, so you can have a uh, a look at the trending as well so if you can uh, type in any date ranges in here you can see how the uh, issue state is being uh, growing or shrinking with inside of the system and uh, so you can get a uh, quite better overview about the remediation of uh, findings with inside of the above word and the java word checking uh, check by check marks so then I would give back to Tim from here. I, I think that was a, a brief answer of his question and another um, explanation of the functionalities that you can see here uh, when you look at the two different coding languages within one dashboard. So uh, thank you very much, Rali and Arndt. So what's the key takeaways? Uh, we have seen here in uh, your session. So at first, yes, we can scan business applications for code vulnerabilities using code profiler and the checkmark software as well. We uh, can combine um, both of the reports from both software into ThreadFix. So uh, we can control and monitor the project's overall application security state evaluate and prioritize the vulnerabilities found and uh, therewith track the remediation of vulnerabilities with Redfix. Thank you very much for that one. So now we want to do a short questions and answer session. Uh, let me at first pose one question to you, the valued audience. Um, do you see the benefits for your organization. Let's discuss. 